name is uh, Astrid Gretland and I work at NST as a advisor, a chief advisor, and I also work as project manager for some of the projects that we have within the diabetes, diabetes team. Uh, in Feistar Connection, I work as a coordinator on the national and Norwegian national level for the trial that we're going to do here. We have been working with, for a few years with uh, the diabetes diary on the mobile phone for as a self-help tool with the patients, very closely with patients. So the patients been in integrated in how the demands for the solution is and we've also been measuring how it works also clinically. But all the studies we've done so far uh, has been a clinical study to see how, what kind of effect this will have on their situation, on their personal medical situation. Uh, this will not be so much a focus in this trial because now we will focus much more on the connection between the patient and the healthcare providers. So what we want to put up in Star is um, we, we want to use the same patients, much the same, make some new recruitments as well, but some of them we already know, uh, and set them up with this solution where we are also going to make them transfer the data to the specialists at the clinic in the hospital, University Hospital of Tromsø. We have had a good relationship with the clinic before, uh, but then they've, they've used this when their patient has brought them for consultation. Uh, now they want to see how they can get this data into their own workspace. So they, because they see that they can utilize the data, but they need to have it presented in a way that makes it better for their daily situation, that they can exploit them in a good way. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to make a solution where the patient, using the self-help tool, uh, measuring their own uh, medical situation, can transfer the data to the clinic in a secure way with all the rules and regulations, legal, privacy rules and all that sort of thing, into the hospital uh, and where it can be sorted out in a way that is good for the clinicians to use in their, in their profession and within the consultation of the patient. The University Hospital in Tromsø is serving a large area uh, and it's a large area all the way from Svalbard and, and quite a large area of, around uh, the Tromsø municipality as well. So many of the patients, particularly those who need closer follow-up, they might find it difficult to always have to travel to Tromsø in order to have their consultations. So now it's possible for the clinicians to be servicing them over a distance in a much better way. I know today they use the telephone quite a lot, but with this they will also be able to discuss the actual data with the, with the patients. We've also had workshops with the uh, provider of the, of the um, patient record system, and, and they are also very interested in seeing how this personal data can trans be transferred into a useful way uh, within the clinician's workspace. Uh, but then of course it, they see that there is a lot of things happening now where people are monitoring themselves, they have different kind of tools and the data that people gather for themselves can be very interesting because instead of for a, a diabetes patient for example, if you go to the checkup with your GP, what they do, they, they measure the HbA1c, which is a long-term blood sugar, which will give you sort of average value of the blood sugar level within the last three months, for example. But that is saying something. But on the other hand, the big issue for, for diabetes uh, patient is that it keeps swinging, swinging up and down. So the more detailed data to tell how much uh, variation do you actually have and when do these peaks and low bottoms for, uh, occur, that is giving a lot more information for clinicians and hopefully making the consultations much more valuable. We hope to, to do so. Um, of course, there's lots of apps and we are also together with the University of Ljubljana uh, in this trial because we're going to test their applications to, the application together with the one that we have developed here in Tromsø, which we call the Diabetes Diary. Uh, but we are working very seriously with the diabetes diary, but then 
trying to address the issues that's first and foremost important for the patient and seeing how it actually works and then now the clinicians. We put much more, much more emphasis on the evaluation and what kind of results this can provide on a long-term basis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because there are lots of apps that you can use for a while and there's so much to choose from. But uh, clinicians, in particular, doctors and things, they, they will not jump on any kind of easy solution. They really want to see that you can show that it has a value to use it. So they are quite, uh, they are quite uh, careful about what they go into. We hope to be able to commercialize it. Um, that's not as easy as it might sound, because it's going to have to provide the money as well for the people who do commercialize it. And uh, there are a lot of issues now that's not quite clear about that, how the money is going to be made, who's going to pay for what, how much uh, interaction the healthcare systems are going to have with that, how large will the user group be, and that sort of thing. Absolutely, we hope so. We've got a very good cooperation with the University of Ljubljana, and, uh, See that we, we probably will be able to do some good work together in the future as well, hopefully. Well, Eric, is, uh, he's been working here for far longer than I have. And he is really the, the grinder, the guy who really originally took this. He, he started uh, developing this diabetes diary as a part of his, uh, his uh, PhD. So that's where it all really started. And since then, we have been working with different kind of aspects around that, any kind of thing from statistical, you know, measurements and all sorts of things to, so it's, it's, it's quite a large area. So Eric's influence on this is very, very important. And of course, as him also having diabetes one himself, he will know exactly where the issues are. And according to him, he said that Still, with all these apps and everything that you can download and Fitbit activity, all sorts of things, still it's very, very difficult for a diabetic patient to regulate the blood sugar. So we need to find out what is it that really helps me regulate my blood. So even Eric, who is as clever with things as he is, he has very much difficulty in keeping a stable blood sugar level. <laughs>